hello guys it's james here and welcome back to my channel today i'll be telling you guys how can you set up and how can you get the best experience out of your free sync monitor this video might be helpful for those who recently got a new free sync monitor and cannot figure things out this video will only be about free sync and not related to g-sync since i'm currently using free sync myself before i begin make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the future content now without wasting any more time let's get it started so first thing we are gonna make sure that FreeSync is enabled from your monitor. To do this you will have to follow your monitor on a screen display and enable it accordingly. For me it is referred to as DDC CI which basically allows the Radeon software to enable or disable the FreeSync. Once that is done we are gonna make sure that FreeSync is enabled from Radeon software. To do this just go to your windows desktop, right click and select AMD Radeon software. Then we're gonna go to gaming, global display, and enable the FreeSync right there. If this option is grayed out for you, make sure again that it is enabled from your monitor settings and drivers for your monitors are correctly installed. And now to set this up correctly without using VSync and avoid huge input lag without getting the screen tearing, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go to gaming again, now go to global graphics, and now we're gonna move over to the radio and chill and enable it and it will give you two options for minimum fps and maximum fps my monitor's refresh rate is 75 so i set the max fps to 75 if it's 144 for you then set the max fps to 144 and always keep the minimum fps 5 less than what you use for max it gives you much smoother experience and never set both minimum and maximum fps to same value because that may cause some stuttering and screen tearing. And that's it. That is all you have to do to get the best experience out of a FreeSync monitor, which is much, much, much better than using VSync, which can cause huge input lag. Well, that's all you have to do to set up a FreeSync monitor and get the best out of it. If this video was informative enough, make sure to like and subscribe the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.